Are you ready to finish your newsletter? That's what we're doing in Lesson 110, Designing Newsletters, Part C. You're going to click Report 11088 and notice all the corrections over here that we need to make in Step 2, Step 4, Step 5, Step 10, and Step 14. Once you've made all those corrections or follow along with me on the checklist here, we're ready to begin. I have revised the checklist to show the first step should be to download the resource file on the GDP screen and save it to a safe location. So do that and remember <laughs> the last time somehow mine is set up. It doesn't offer me the choice of saving or opening. It just opens it immediately. So let's see what happens this time. Okay, so if this happens to you, save it as, so you can choose a location. I'm going to save it where I save my other files. Save file 110 in a save place and then close it. Now you're ready to click Start Work in Report 11088. It should open what you finished for Report 10986 and the name is going to have an S added to it. So as you open this document, verify that automatic hyphenation is on. Place your insertion point directly after the final period at the end of the sentence in column A, and this is on page 2, and press enter two times. Change to Calibri 20 point bold. Type practice the plan. This is the side heading. Press enter one time. Change to Calibri 14 point. Turn off bold. Press enter one time and type the following paragraph. I'm going to scroll up here. Now this paragraph is repeated over here in the checklist or it is on page 455 in your textbook. It's in handwriting. With your insertion point after the final period you typed in step 4, press enter two times. Then insert file 110, that resource file that we downloaded. So remember we go to the insert ribbon. Under the drop down menu for object, we choose text from file. Go to the location where you saved it. File 110 is then inserted in your document. Now you will notice that this file we inserted does not have justified alignment. So select it all and reapply that setting justified. Okay, now you're going to select the following side headings and change the font to Calibri 20 point bold. Exit safely, plan to meet and assist others. I'm going to use the Format Painter where I double click, then apply it to each of these headings. Click once more to turn it off. We're going to insert clip art in the space below the side heading exit safely should be associated with the topic of the paragraph and it's talking about exiting safely. So we open our clip art search pane type exit. You can scan the options here. I think I'll choose this one. And this one is bigger than we want. We want to set it at one and a half. There we go. So, if the text wrap is correct, next we want to apply our style. I want the soft edge rectangle. Okay, everything looks justified and aligned well, so I'm ready to move on to the next step. We're going to need to insert a text box at the bottom of column C. We have moved on to page 456 and 57 in your textbook. Draw a text box. Have it come to the bottom of columns A and B to match. Change to Calibri 16 point bold. then Center and type Future Issues. Press Enter two times. Change to Calibri 11 point. Center and type March Homeland Security. April 
updating your system may emergency supplies and June safety seminars okay I think that since we have plenty of room here I would like to insert some space above future issues so that this is balanced in the text box. So we're going to treat this line like a paragraph and simply move to our line and paragraph spacing options and click add space before paragraph. Okay, I think that looks nicer. There may be some other ways to do that, but we chose that one. Now we're going to apply a textured fill that complements the page color of the newsletter. So be sure that you have a solid selection line around this shape. Right click and choose Format Text Box. Go to Fill Effects, Texture tab. Now we're going to change the shape to complement the shape used for the clip art in the newsletter. This may get me in trouble here since I used that soft edge but we're going to see what we can do. To change the shape, move to change shape, and since I can't get a soft edge, I'm going to choose rounded rectangle. That at least fits in well. And you'll see I'm in trouble here now with the size has bumped things around a little, so I'm going to make some other adjustments. I'm going to increase the size a little, the height, to see if it will all fit in here and then increase the width just a bit to see if I can get system on one line. There we go. And I think I'll change the border of this shape as well to change the color of the outline. And I tried experimenting with different styles of lines and that didn't work too well, so I pressed Control Z or Undo. But there are other effects you can experiment with, shadows or 3D effects. This might match, I could match the shape perhaps that I used in the masthead. Notice how this is going to retain the shape, but just add a 3D image to it. That loses my border though, so I think for a newsletter purpose that it's better to have a border around that text box to call attention to it. I might try a shadow though. That helps it stand out a little. Now I'm going to turn off Show Hide so that we can get the full effect of our work. Now as we look it over, notice in the checklist it says make whatever adjustments are needed to make your newsletter look attractive. The newsletter should look similar to the illustrations in the textbook on pages 456 and 7. So here we are. You may not make the same decisions I make. That is fine. You can create a, an attractive newsletter with your own selections of graphics, colors, and textures. And we'll get even more creative in session 14. But for now, this is the end of the newsletter project. Let's view the two pages together. Here I see that my text box could be moved down a little bit on the page. That might look even better, okay? I'm going to save and submit this and see what kind of error count I get. Notice it is being saved as 109 86 S. Now the number afterwards will just depend on how many times you have saved it previously, so, so don't worry about that, but be sure that you do notice what the name of your document is because this is what you will be submitting for scoring. Okay, close. Find that exact same document and it may take a while to finish uploading, then you can submit for scoring. Four errors I had four errors before. They are just line spacing errors that I considered necessary to complete the document correctly. Okay, that is pretty good. If your document looks good and you have followed the steps, don't worry about the errors if they are only blue or green paragraph marks or some other placement issue.
Well, if you have completed this document and are satisfied with GDP scoring, or even if you're not, you have accomplished a great project here and are finished with the work for this week. See you next time.